Detroit is the historic hub for automakers, but that industry is getting 21st century competition from Silicon Valley. The Ford Motor Company is stepping up efforts to compete. It will reveal plans this morning to transform a 105-year-old train station into its high-tech base for the future of automotive mobility. Gail got a look at that space that you'll see only on CBS this morning. She's in McAllen, Texas. Gail, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora, but last week I was in Detroit. See the places you get to go on CBS this morning? Yep, we get to travel on this job. I like it. But as you were saying, this is an amazing old building and a very exciting project for both Ford and the city of Detroit. Ford Executive Chairman Bill Ford Jr. wants this real estate project to give Silicon Valley a run for its money. He recently gave us a tour of the very historic space. Detroit was built in an era where there was a ton of money here. And so buildings like this were built with grandeur and then they fell into disrepair. Over its 105-year history, the massive Michigan Central train station in Detroit has reflected the life and times of the city around it. This had to be the ticket booth, this was, right? Yeah, ticket this was booth. the ticket booth. When the railroad was king, the station stood as a symbol of Detroit's prosperity. Then the city's economy collapsed and fell into bankruptcy. Had we been looking at this 10 years ago, you would have had a lot of empty buildings there. You know, whenever they show a picture of how bad Detroit is, this is the yes, place. Yes, this was the poster child. That used to always drive me. Somebody has lived here my whole life. I hated that kind of publicity for our city and for this structure. What are you thinking? Now, you Ford think Motor that. Company executive chairman Bill Ford Jr. is doing something about that. His company just bought this half a million square foot behemoth and is turning it into Ford's new hub for autonomous and electric vehicle research. When we started thinking about the future of transportation and autonomous driving, it's very clear that that will happen first in cities. And therefore, we have to get experience on city streets. And cityscapes is where that will all be invented. The 2,500 Ford employees who are expected to work here will do more than transform a building. They will also help revive an entire neighborhood, Corktown, one of the oldest parts of the city. Your love for Detroit is very clear to me. I mean, it's, it's important for you to be here in this city. It, it is. And, is and it a legacy project for you? Yeah, this is really, you know, for me, a, a great uh, kind of homecoming, if you will. His ancestors, including great-grandfather Henry Ford, the legendary founder of the company, first settled here in the late 19th century. I think everybody, when Detroit hit rock bottom, said, OK, let's all just pull together and make this place work. And there's a spirit now uh, in the city to do just that. And a good example of that spirit happened just over the weekend. An unnamed thief who stole an antique clock that used to hang in the station returned it on Friday. He apparently tipped off Ford officials who retrieved it from an abandoned lot two miles from the station. They have authenticated it using old photos and chemical analysis. No word on how long it was gone or what Ford plans to do with it in the renovation, but something tells me it's going to show up there. Um, Alex, to steal your pun, Bill Ford Jr. is driving the company forward. I like that. <laughs> Wasn't Back my to pun. You guys You're welcome to it, Gail. Wasn't yeah. my pun. <laughs> yes. That was terrific. I liked it. I Glad liked to it. see that All happening right. for Detroit. So we're going to show you more of this project tomorrow. Bill Ford talks to Gail about autonomous driving, what his ancestors would think of Ford's future, and his Western car-making rival, Elon Musk. So more straight ahead, and that's tomorrow on CBS This Morning.